Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use curtain curtain wall to create this corner um, sliding door. Okay, so let's start. So first, uh, create a project. Use um, use a um, architectural template. And okay, so uh, type W A wall and okay so we are going to start from this okay so uh, store front okay so edit type first we need to create a new curtain wall so duplicate let's call it new curtain wall okay so we need to set to uh, change some setting so first we don't need vertical mullions change this to now we don't need horizontal mullions change this to now we don't need horizontal grids we need vertical grid but we're going to change this one from a maximum spacing to fixed number and I think that's it so um, for this one uh, it's it's I, I, it's okay because we are going to change the pa uh, curtain panel anyway so just leave it as a uh, noun click OK so first let's just draw so change the height maybe 2400 and I'll just draw uh, something like this now let's go to 3d view and this is the curtain wall let me change it to shade or S tab SD and and um, so now you can select this curtain wall and if you change the vertical grid number so for example if I change it to 2 so we have we will have 3 panel okay okay so now we need to create some new um, curtain panel type and a curtain mullion type okay so if you select one of the curtain mullion so you will see this is a, a 50 by one, uh, 150 edit type you won't be able to create a new so it's gray out just unpin it okay so and the edit type so now you can create duplicate and create a new one so I'm going to just call it new curtain mullion okay so and then uh, I'm actually not sure about the size uh, for a um, sliding door maybe I'll just make it 40 by 40 so 40 here and also here 20 and 20 okay so it will make it 40 so click ok so now you will see it become a 40 by 40 square shape mullion so but we are not going to change this one to 40 by 40 so i'm going to ping it so it will go back to the default um, mullion so that's all good and then the next one is we need to create a new so tab select this panel so this is a system panel glazed so we are going to create a new one okay so edit type duplicate so i'll call it new curtain um, panel okay so okay so um material correct thickness um i'm not sure maybe i'll just make it 12 and offset i'll make it zero um oh good so click okay so now you will see it become this one become the new panel and this this is the original uh, curtain uh, curtain panels system panel glazed doesn't doesn't matter because we're going to change them okay so select this one and oh hang so we need to now what we need to do is we need to create a new curtain wall with this new panel and the new uh, mullion okay so I'll just select this curtain wall CS create similar or you can go you, or you can go click on this one so create similar okay CS so and go sorry go to edit type and duplicate so this time I'll call it um, curtain wall 2 maybe yeah oh good and then we need to change the setting for the mullions so I change this to new new curtain mullion new and new and new so and some um, curtain panel so we are also
going to change this one to the new curtain wall panel we just did, which is this one. Okay, so click OK, and then you can just draw one here. So you will see, ah, uh, looks like we need to remove the vertical grids. Okay, so select this curtain wall, edit type. So change this vertical grid to now apply. So we will ask me, I will ask you, so uh, do you want to delete grid? Yes. Okay, so now you will see it's a very uh, clean uh, panel. So um, uh, rep represent a sliding door panel. Okay, so now we just need to just delete this one. We don't need it. Select this curtain panel, change this one to a curtain wall. Okay, so this one. So now we have a curtain wall inside of this curtain wall, and it looks like a, a sliding door inside of this uh, frame. And then we can just select this one, control select this one, these two panel, and change them to two. Okay, and then of course uh, we need to offset this one. So select this curtain wall. So just need to uh, try to pick this curtain wall. So until you see the dashed line, so this. Okay, and then type in um, 40. Uh, if you want it to move uh, towards the other direction, so you just you can type in negative. 40. And this one's sitting in the middle, that's all good. And maybe this one, we just type in 40. And then that's it. So that's is that is this is one curtain uh, curtain wall with three embedded curtain walls. So it looks like a sliding door, three panel sliding door. And also, of course, you can change the size, you can, um, you can you can change the size, change the width, change the change the height. So, and I, it will automatically adjust itself. Um, and also, yeah, let me just uh, create another one. So CS. So this time I'm going to just start from the end point of this curtain wall and draw it like this. So. We just, or actually, um, we can do. Actually, we can do this. So we can do this and uh, um, select the select this curtain wall and uh, edit type um, and then we can change this one. So curtain panel, we can change this from noun to the actual curtain wall this one okay so let's try this okay so click OK and you will see now if we create a new one it will automatically ha um, have this cur new curtain wall embedded into this one so we can we can select it and change the number so if I want three panel and we have three panel we have on two panel we have two panel four panel yeah so now I'll just delete this one and then we just need to adjust the number in here. So maybe I'll just make it two, so which is three panel. And then um, maybe we need to adjust the locations of 40 maybe. Um, maybe the other direction. Yeah, so this one will be 40. And then, so for this corner, so you might think, oh, this is, is a little tricky, but actually, you can just delete this vertical and delete this vertical, and then that's it. So you will see the horizontal mullion automatically join. Um, and yeah, there will be a little gap there, but it won't be perfect because they are just curtain walls. So, but um, I think it's quite it's quite good to use this for your concept design so for early stage so because it's you will see it's very flexible you can just change the angle and change the height change the length and it will automatically adjust adjust itself 
So sometimes it's it's even easier than some good good um, uh, actual doll families. But um, yeah, that's 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 it. Um, let's have a look in the floor plan. So if I go to ground floor floor plan, so we'll see. It's quite nice, I think. So yeah, I'll leave it cap there. And also, uh, you are saying uh, because usually uh, the curtain wall panels um, they should overlap a little bit here. So um, you can you can actually we can do this. We can make it to look better. So so what we can do is we can remove one of this mullion. So delete, so unpin and delete, and then I'm um, probably. Uh, we need to adjust this. So see, move your cursor to here, tab, tab. So until you see the blue, a solid blue line, this is a grid. Okay. So with this grid, you can unpin it and move to adjust the size. So for example, if I unpin it and MV. So for example, I will move it by half. So now this will uh, give us the same size because we, we previously we delete we removed one of the mullion and then we can do this so select this mullion edit unpinned edit type create duplicate so um, I'll click OK I'll make it 80 and with offset okay so uh, wrong direction sorry negative 20 so this will give us, you know, looks like uh, overlapping. Maybe you can even just draw a line there. So then that's it. Just do a detail line. <laughs> so let's do it again. So this one, unpin, delete. Maybe adjust the size of the panel to move the grid uh, half the mullion. Select this mullion, unpin, go back, change this to the new one. Okay, so draw a detail on in the middle. And then that's it. That's our um, sliding doors. And of course, you can add uh, or, uh, arrow directions such as something like that. So, okay, so uh, here. Um, yeah, that's it. So, and oh, um, if you and if you I, I think I've done some video about so you can actually create a, a panel as a window and then you can embed that into here so it will automatically create create everything such as the arrows such as um, the, the arrows in the elevations and also you can it becomes it, it will become a, a door or a window and then you can use window tag and door tag but this one is uh, just a curtain wall and a curtain panel okay so that's it um, if you have any question please let me know um, or any ideas suggestion or complaint <laughs> I'll see you next time thank you bye